Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have a B&M haul to share with you. Um, basically, I had an emergency trip to B&M's yesterday. B&M's? B&M's? B&M? Don't know why I need to add the S on it. But yeah, an emergency trip <laughs> to B&M's. Basically, um, I needed to find a secret Santa present. Naively, stupidly, I didn't think I was going to be included in this year's Secret Santa. Um, one, because I'm on maternity leave, so I'm not at work. And two, uh, due to COVID and everything, there is no Christmas party this year. So I really didn't expect it. Um, and normally at work, I'm the person that arranges Christmas party, Secret Santa, putting up the decorations, that kind of thing. And it's normally all, like the Christmas party is normally booked. November and Secret Santa is drawn first week of December so everybody has opportunity to, to sort it out um, and then I got an email I got it on Thursday but I didn't see it till Friday that basically said here's your Secret Santa pick and uh, it needs to be in the office for Friday morning like the following Friday morning so scramble never felt so unorganized about a Christmas item so uh yeah and i kind of looked on amazon and we have amazon prime but everything was a bit either a bit too rude for the person that i'm gifting and it was like oh just let's go to b &M's. wanted to go into the city center on sunday but the weather was awful so we got a bnm quite local so i went there and made the best of it and somehow from going to just buy a secret santa present I ended up spending a little bit over 30 quid so let's show you what we've got First thing, I've got it out of the bag because I used it last night. This is the Johnson's Bedtime Powder. Um, I've never even seen this before. We use the Johnson's Bedtime Lotion on Reuben every day. I love the smell of it. Um, it absorbs very well. I know some people don't like Johnson's. I'm not here for a row. Um, but yeah, it's the same scent as the powder. Um, it's the same scent as the Bedtime Lotion, so but would give it a go, um, absorbs moisture to keep skin dry at night. I don't know if it's any, <clears throat> any different to any of the other Johnson's powders, apart from the fact it smells nice. Okay, the other thing that is too big for the bag is we got a baby milestone chalkboard. Isn't it cute? I just really like it. I've seen these on Instagram. Um, I've never seen this in the store before. I've never seen it there. Um, but this was reduced. This was reduced to three pound. You can see the reflection of our Christmas tree in there. Um, yeah, it was reduced to three pound. Um, so yeah, technically, you know, you meant to do these from the beginning and Ruben will start using his, his, well, his next milestone is four months. But yeah, I just thought it was really nice. And for three quid, it was the only one on the shelf. So I'm guessing... It was reduced because it was the last one. Um, the other thing we bought was a bottle of pop, but that's been open. Um, and then, oh, <laughs> giant bag with everything else. Um, right, I'm just going to pull it out as it comes. Domestos family pack. It says family pack, but we only got one. I don't know. Um, Domestos bleach self-explanatory and we got so this is part of my secret santa gift a little tea no yeah oil burner thingy two quid and, oh dairy milk robins no these aren't the robin ones i like the robin ones but they didn't have any they don't have any at sainsbury's either so i'm guessing everybody else has them so this is the Dairy Milk Jingle Bells in Hazelnut Cream. And we've got the Dairy Milk Jingle Bells in Chocolate, word I can't pronounce, Miss. I'm not even going to say, N-O-I-S-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. <laughs> um, oh, then I got some <laughs> Joe Malone-esque inspired dupe. Um, wax melts, mandarin, lime and basil. I really like this scent. 
um, I've got a lot of things in this kind of combo uh, but I don't I do have a wax melt but it's not something I use often I tend to do more candles but yeah it just smells lovely so that's to go with the secret Santa oh and I picked up some XHC banana hair mask just because I love artificial banana flavors and scents smells so good it looks really thick as well i'm like sometimes you want a proper thick hair mass i kind of like i don't like the runny ones i know some people prefer them <laughs> the hair is hello postnatal hair loss <laughs> oh this is also part of my secret center um bailey's chocolate twists light crispy or waffles with a ganache do you know they actually had to because the girl that served us she was only under 17 she had to have someone give permission to serve these i didn't realize that actual because i think to make the ganache from the alcohol you don't cook a ganache do you it's melted chocolate and cream I'm just thinking because normally you cook booze off it doesn't say anything about being oh it does say get the facts drink aware Maybe the alcohol is still active, I don't know. But yeah, she had to get uh, uh, somebody over 18 to sign off selling us that. Oh, we picked up three of these. They are these little discs and you put the baby's handprint in. Um, we got three of them because they were three quid. Uh, <laughs> we got one of these for Ruben when he was first born. Um, and obviously because of being in the hospital and stuff he was almost four weeks before we got it done or three weeks when we got it done um but the kit we got from amazon for that one was like i want to say it was 20 quid it might have been 25 quid um three pound so it's like i think you know i think it's cute and you get them at a couple of different ages but yeah i've got those three quid so we've got three i think i've said that like 12 times now um, a deodorant in soft and gentle fresh blossom wild rose and vanilla that's for me oh fairy washing up liquid um, in the retro packaging um, in platinum I like the scented ones I do like the pomegranate one and everything but I just feel like this one is the best I'm sure it's probably the same formula in all of the fairy washing up liquids but for some reason i just i feel it cleans better oh the world's biggest bottle of mouthwash uh listerine cool mint it's one liter of mouthwash you can tell the bits that john picked up the big old bits <laughs> that's a john purchase whenever we go down the cleaning aisle he's like we don't need all of this and he likes to buy the bog standard basic big packs because they're better value. Then I picked up one of these, the Cotton Fresh Febreze Air Freshener. I kind of wanted the Christmas one, um, but I've seen people say it's not good. Uh, this isn't to go into my bathroom. We have got a little um, cupboard where our boiler and our washing machine is um and it's also got our towels in there um and it doesn't smell bad but it's it could, it could smell fresher it's kind of one of those things it's kind of i suppose because it's shut i just want to keep it smell it a bit nicer but yeah it just sometimes it smells a little bit stale unless you've been doing a lot of washing then it just smells like washing um spring awakening and stuff uh, John picked up deodorant, Dove, Men Care in Extra Fresh. Is that everything? Oh, and I got another wax melt to go with the Secret Santa thing in Orange Zest. So I think I have gone over budget because I also picked up um, a mulled wine um, from somewhere else we went on Sunday. So it's like the Secret Santa is a bottle of mulled wine, oil burner two sets of the wax melts 
and a thing of chocolates. That's a that's that a nice secret Santa. I normally try and put more effort in. The last two secret Santas I've done like proper little gift baskets. I've gone over budget, but I just don't have the time. Like literally didn't have the time to order things online, so I just had to kind of do it in person. But I think I hope. I hope they like it. I think it's a nice present. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. That is my B&M haul. I hope you guys are okay and your Christmas preparations, if you celebrate Christmas, are coming along nicely. Um, yeah, <laughs> life is a little bit hectic, isn't it? But yeah, I hope you're okay. I hope you're all okay, guys, and I will talk to you in the next one.